If you ask strong couples who have an abiding love what they like most about their partners, many will say when they are with that person, they don't have to pretend to be anything other than what they are. They're able to express themselves without fear of being judged or rejected. There is room in the relationship for both of them to be unique individuals. They are free to be known and loved unconditionally. Okay, love, we can turn around. And I think we can all agree this is the case with Joe and Julia. Oh, that would be a good answer. Aw, see, I knew you were going to cry. <laughs> I was trying to hold off those. Aw, oh. <laughs> oh, that's okay, baby. It was beautiful, though. Thank you, baby. You're going to make me cry. Julia, the day I met you was the day I entered a dream that I'm still living today. I fell in love the second I saw you. Hi, my love. I never thought I would be one of those people who would write their own vows, but I believed our love is so extraordinary that traditional vows just won't do. From the moment we met, it was love at first kiss. I knew that it was something special. But I had my doubts. As days passed, <laughs> As days passed, then weeks, then months, I was scared that this incredible love I had for you was going to fizzle. This love we had was just too good to be true. But the more time we spent together and the more adventures under our belts, there was no denying that this love was forever. Thank you for allowing me to feel and experience a love that I never thought I was capable of feeling. A love I wasn't sure even existed. I love that you always give me the security to be myself. I love that you always find the good in every situation. I love that you have compassion where others would ridicule. I love that you're not scared to cry or show emotion. <laughs> I cannot promise to not get angry or evil, as you call it. I, can, I cannot control my hormones. I cannot promise to stop chasing boy bands all around the world, so I will always remind you that life is about doing things that make you feel alive. I can promise every step we take in our future, we will take together as partners and lovers. Just like at every table we sit down at, I will keep you by my side so we can live this beautiful life together. You deserve the best life possible, and I promise I will continue to make that my main goal in life for as long as we live. I know that even after we pass, it will not be the end of our love story. I will love you forever and ever, even after we die, which will be at the same time, like in the notebook. <laughs> and then we will find each other again in our next lives. I love you. <laughs> Julia, I love you forever. Now that you have given yourselves to each other with your vows and the giving and receiving of rings in front of all who are here, it is great joy that I get to pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very proud, humbled and honored to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Chalk. to be Julia's maid of honor today. And Julia and I have been best friends since junior high. Although Julia's changed a lot since she's been with Joe, she's still true to herself. She still loves cheerleading, she loves the Oilers, and of course, boy bands. And now, so does Joe. <laughs> and Joe, I could not dream of a better person for Julia to do all her favorite things and your favorite things and I know you will take good care of my Jew. 
Thank goodness, because I was really worried about you coming from words with friends and all. Like, how did that even turn out good? <laughs> well, Joe's been my closest friend for over 30 years. I could go into detail about some of the funny and stupid things that Joe and I have done together. For now, I'd rather focus on all the smart moves he's made, his friendships, the relationship he has with his family, his career. It's all a reflection of the incredible man that he's become. But really, the smartest move he's made so far is marrying you, Julia. Joe, you'd be lucky having anyone sitting beside you today, but even luckier to have someone as amazing as Julia. I know in Julia, you have someone who has an undying love for you, someone who will be your rock through good times and bad, and her loyalty and faith in you is endless. They say you don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. That sums up Joe and Julia perfectly. So let's raise our glasses to the happy couple. To Joe, to Joe and Julia.